controller not working on Wolong Fallen Dynasty? Here are six ways you can fix it. Before we move forward, do us a favor by subscribing to our channel and liking this video. It's free and helps us a lot. We do tons of research trying to find the working solutions for you. This way you can stay connected with us and get quick help with your future tech issues. Now let's get started. Method 1. The first thing you need to do is unplug your mouse keyboard and any other input devices before connecting the controller. Only connect the controller while running the game and it should work without any issues. Method 2 The next thing you can do is configure the controller on Steam for Wolong Fallen Dynasty. First open Steam, select the Steam option and click on Settings. Click on Controller and select the general controller settings option. If you have your controller connected, then it would appear in the controller detected section. Check the controller you are using from the options and configure the controller from the detected sections. Click on the controller and select identify. Once the controller is identified, close Steam and run the game from Steam. Method 3. The next thing you can do is enable Steam input for the game. Open Steam again and click on Library. Right click on Volong Fallen Dynasty and select Properties. Click on Controller from the left panel. Click on the drop down menu and select Enable Steam input. Now launch the game. If enabling it doesn't work, try disabling Steam input and see if that solves the issue. Don't have a solution so far? After the video ends, join our Facebook group where our experts help users just like you solve tech issues every day. Join the group from the link in the description or the pinned comment and ask for help. We promise to help you out. Method 4 Another thing you can do is run the game in big picture mode. Open Steam and click on the Big Picture Mode option. After the Steam opens in Big Picture Mode, click on the game and run it. Method 5 The next thing you can do is disable all the HID compliant game controllers. Right click on the start menu and select device manager. Expand human interface device. Now right click on all the HID compliant game controller drivers and select disable device. Now run the game and see if that solves the issue. If it doesn't, try re-enabling all the HID compliant game controller drivers and see if that solves the issue. Method 6. If you are facing the issue with the Xbox controller, try installing the Xbox Accessories app and see if that solves the issue. Open Microsoft Store and search for Xbox Accessories app. Install the app and run it. Connect your controller and follow the on-screen instructions. So that's it. Subscribe to our channel and get quicker solutions to all your tech issues. Join our Facebook group where you will get direct help on everything tech. Leave a comment and help others know which solution solved your problem. Thanks for watching and always remember that we are here to help you out.